Now, who doesn't love a well-made knife? I'm sure you've all heard about the Maker Knife, and if you haven't, it was a popular Kickstarter with many backers, uh, made by Jocko whatever, or Jocko Di Muro, probably butchering that name, but forgive me. Uh, the Kickstarter did quite well, but for good reason. One of the features of this knife is its locking mechanism. That is the maker knife, that is. Uh, it's a wire EDM cut compliant mechanism that is stiff enough to hold the blade in place, but with enough give so that when your finger applies enough force, it can overcome the compliant mechanism. So my knife is built in kind of the same way. Uh, the Maker Knife was the inspiration for this project. I thought it'd be, you know, really cool to do. Uh, I wanted to create a sleek design that was fairly practical, and it was an actual usable tool. Now, with that being said, you can't beat the real deal. The original is far better, and by no means is this a, you know, viable replacement for that knife. In any case, for a 3D printed design, this is one of my favorites. The, the knife locks in place and slides back into position very nicely. Uh, it also has a sleek appearance. It fits into the pocket nicely. So I think I met some of the design goals here for this knife. Once all the parts are printed, I proceed with the glue up and I start usually with the locking arm. The arm is glued in place using super glue and then I proceed to remove the excess using a Q-tip because uh, you don't want any squeeze out there. Uh, we want this to dry nice and clean. So the body of this knife is printed with PLA. The blade cover, the carrier, and the locking arm are all printed with PETG. Although ABS would also make a great material to print this knife with. After the locking arm is glued in place, and it's really important to ensure to let everything dry thoroughly, uh, I proceed uh, with gluing both halves of the knife body together. I try not to be too liberal with the super glue, just a few dabs, and then the excess is cleaned up. Then I use a vise or a clamp to really help get both of those halves tight together. There are alignment pins that have been added so that when you apply the glue, you don't have to mess too much around with putting both halves together. Both halves will fit together really nice. Here you can see I'm doing just a quick visual inspection, just making sure that both halves are fitting together nicely, and that way I can put this aside and let it dry thoroughly and move on to gluing up the blade carrier. And while I wait for that to dry, I move on to gluing the blade carrier. I just add a small amount to the opposite side from where the blade is installed and press on the cover. I try not to use very much glue here. You just want to ensure that the cover doesn't come off. And then once I get the glue applied, I clamp it in place just to ensure that it really gets a good bond. Okay. 
Here I use a flathead screwdriver to wedge in between the fingers and the finger tab on the blade carrier. Uh, it's important to ensure that the super glue doesn't squeeze out and glue these pieces together. Uh, we just want to glue the actual cover down to the carrier. And after we have the carrier glued, uh, and it's fully dry, uh, we move on to giving it a quick cleanup uh, before we can finally put this all together and have a completed knife. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The file will be available for free uh, over on cults3d.com. Uh, the link will be pinned below. So feel free to head over there and download it and print yourself. And please let me know how, how it went. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, all welcome below.